So, June, however you want to say it, I always get lambasted in the comments for uh, the inability to say Dune correctly, as other people want me to. Uh, we now have its world premiere. Now, this is important, ladies and gents. Why is it important? Because we're going to start to get information coming out. We're going to start to get first reactions. Yes, some of them will obviously just be, well... You know, I guess the play-by-play -play of normal things you'd expect anyone to say about any movie at these kind of things. But there will be just accredited members of the press there that could be just like me, a YouTube channel. Um, and I say that as someone who's been to Sundance Festival because of this channel. So it's not always just, you know, randos from mainstream media reviewing these things. But it's going to be world premiering at the Venice Film Festival. I think I've just jumped ahead there. So sorry. Uh, basically... They tweeted this out, right? So saying, June, June movie by Denis Villeneuve will have its out of competition world premiere at the, I'm not going to say that, but it's the Venice Film Festival. Uh, the highly anticipated movie, which stars an acclaimed cast, will be shown on Friday, the 3rd of September in the Sala Grande. Uh, and then they had this really awesome new picture as well, which I've got small here, but we will take a look at uh, a large one in a moment. Now, so it's going to be September 3rd. Now, some people will look at that. Let, let's talk about this objectively, right? This is a movie I'm massively looking forward to, hotly anticipating it. Much more so than well, most other movies, I think, this year. I don't think there's another movie now. Not now that's coming out that I'm that this excited for. Uh, maybe Antlers, which is supposed to be releasing, I believe, also in October, if I remember rightly. So I'm excited for June, massively. And I am, like, I'm super, super excited for it. But, and there is a big but, you know, big derriere, uh, is the fact that this is a strange time to do a world premiere. Only a month out. Mm. Some people could look at that and say, that, that, ladies and gents, is alarm bells. There's two ways of looking at it. Alarm bells, because that will be the first reactions from people that are hitting the internet. And I think that's a very valid uh, response to have, you know, oh hey, alarm bells here, this this could be real bad, because it is only a month out, but then there's the other thing, is that it's Venice Film Festival, right, it's, that's a pretty big one, it's the 78th uh, Film Festival uh, of Venice, so Venice Film Festival 78, it's pretty big, you know, it's a good film festival, lots of people go, it's just like auteurs, and you know, high, highly acclaimed critics would be going to this. So for it to world premiere there and get their response first, that could just be what they're looking for. It could be. And there's a few things to consider here about whether we think this is going to be good or bad. I know a lot of people have concerns because uh, of leaked kinds being, you know, um, well, swapped out, basically, racially swapped out. Um, but at the end of the day, Denis Villeneuve is a, is a guy who has not really done anything bad, you know. And even movies where there are strong women in he absolutely handles them with expertise. Um, you know, you're not going to tell me that Arrival, you can tell me Arrival's bad. I mean, I'm sure there will be people out there that will now just do it in the comments. But Arrival's a fantastic film. Really, really good. Strong female, Amy Adams. Not only that, but we have uh, Blade Runner 2049. A string of strong females running through that movie, all expertly done. Uh, and in fact, that film didn't really please anyone, sadly, because there were people that were like, oh, Joy should have been this and Joy should have been that. Yet you have Love, an ultimate badass. Like, come on. You know, Denis Villeneuve knows how to handle women in his films. Uh, and I think he's great. I think he's a visionary director. And what do you need for June? Vision. Because God damn, if you lack that, it's going to be terrible. So I think this is going to be good. I think this is going to be a fantastic film. I think the fact that it is world premiering now at Venice Film Festival, great, really good. You know why? Because that sort of gives us our window, right? That'll be the first time people start to hear about it on the internet. September 3rd, right? September 3rd, that's when people will start to hear about it. First reactions, my thoughts, eh, blah, 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 blah. People will talk about it. There will be a trailer before then, I would imagine. There will be a trailer before then. So we now start to know our marketing window, right? Hopefully, Legendary doesn't screw the pooch on this and just dump loads of trailers like they do for Godzilla vs. Kong and any of their Godzilla movies, actually. Any of their movies, actually. Any of their films. 
Stop dumping your trailers. Legendary, just stop it. Two trailers is fine. We don't need TV spots. And we don't need multiple different final cut trailers. This, that, and out the wazoo. We're all good. We're full. Alright, we're full. So we know our marketing window will probably be... I would anticipate... Um, from August. And then they'll hit September with the first reactions online. And then we go into October for its release. A good sort of two month window. I think that's probably about accurate. I could be wrong, but I think that's about accurate. Now let's talk about the image that's dropped because I really like this image. Um, I'm actually, I, I really like this image. I think this is fantastic. Really, really, really like the image. Now I was in two minds about all of these clothes uh, when I first saw them, but I really like the st the the still suits. I think they look great. I think they really look great. I still have a like. The shoes still do look like normal sneakers, though. Um, which we'd initially seen in one of the previous images of them hanging off one of the... Was it the Thornacopter, if I remember rightly? I'm trying to remember my um, Dune terminology now. But the still suits are great. And one thing which I really, really am appreciative of here, uh, we'll see if we can get it, is the eyes. I think they've done the Frenum eyes justice. I think they look great. I think they look really, really good. Now, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more here um, for everyone's benefit. But when you when you zoom in and you see the eyes, it's just enough. It's just enough. And the still suits look great. They look like something which works. Uh, it looks practical. It looks loose enough to run around a desert in. I think it works very, very well. Works very, very well. Uh, this is an actor who is now starting to rise and rise and rise to prominence. And I think he'll do very, very well. Um, the the actor that I'm referring to, because you can't see my mouse. What an idiot I am. Uh, is, of course, uh, Timothy Chalamet. I think he's going to be great. I think he's going to be really, really good. Um, the, the only downside to these still suits are the motorbike gloves. Not a major fan of the motorbike gloves. I think the motorbike gloves suck a little bit. Uh, but everything else looks fine. I think it looks great. They shot it in uh, Budapest as well. So, good location. In fact, part of the same places that Denis was filming Blade Runner 2049 as well. So, he has a good working relationship out there. Uh, there you go. Not much else to go into here. I think this is good. I think marketing will start around August. Let me know what you think down below. World premiere. We're gonna, we will start to hear about this film very soon. I cannot wait. Let me know what you think down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Please do hit that like button on your way out. If you stayed this long, you, you did like the video and it does help the channel out. Uh, it costs you nothing, so thank you. Cheers. Take care.